All right, here we are, Jake's Bait and Tackle in Winchester, Virginia, right off of 81. There's 81 right over there, man. It is just right, it's like less than a mile off of 81. So if you're passing by Northern Virginia, I mean, you wanna come look at some cool baits? Let me show you what's inside, man. Right here, uh, like I said, less than a mile off the interstate, just pull in and see what's inside. Go through the double doors here, and then you walk into Jake's Bait and Tackle. I mean, I don't know where to start. So let's let's go over here. Got the closeout bin. Every good tackle shop's got a closeout bin. Got to have some different stuff in there. Um, never know what kind of deals you can find. Got all the the low end combos and the kid combos over there. Right when you walk in, everything for every price point. But whatever's going on new. They've got that right here on this end cap, all the new stuff. Got some new Molex stuff. Uh, got those new uh, TRD Cross. Got some uh, new a new Zoom color over there. Some of the new uh, Berkeley stuff. And then you got more of the the area specific. It's more Shenandoah River type stuff right here. You know the smaller jerk baits, little smaller tubes, little small shock waves. Some of the you know smaller different baits. Uh, it's more designated for the for the uh, area but man let's go over here to the jig wall you got some of these jinkin jigs very cool local local jigs i like that they got some of the impact flipping jigs you got the cross side flipping jigs good flipping jig some more local jigs they got these rogers jigs he, he makes all kind of stuff there's a lot of this in the shop uh very very cool uh, and you got some kai tech jigs down here and a couple skipping jigs from from strike king and then as you as you round the corner, this is all the the what goes on the dinner table. This is what you catch it with right here. All the trout and the crappy stuff right here. I mean, all your little castmaster spoons and your little silver buddies, so your spinners and the little the small jig uh, grubs, all that stuff right there for the stuff that goes in your belly. Uh, and they got more jigs over here. You got the little shroom, you know, some shroom Z-Man stuff, some more Kai Tech jigs. Strike King, all the missile jigs are over on the other side, which you'll see later. Uh, and then you got some Jenkins, more Jenkins jigs, more Rogers jigs. These are the little hair jigs that they've got, which they sell the fire out of this time of year. This is a local guy you can only get here at, uh, at Jake's Bait and Tackle. But uh, as you can see, they get pilfered in the wintertime uh, from everybody buying them, all the different, uh, different ones. But as you keep going, you got your buzz baits and your spinner baits. Uh, different than some Dave's tournament tackle, some skirts from them, some various skirts to customize your your baits exactly how you want. Got the double ploppers up here, and then for your trout guys, power bait. It's like crack for the trout. I swear to God, they love it. Uh, so you know, the guys that love the uh, the gulp and the uh, and the power bait, they got all you got you covered there. A whole wall whole pegboard of chatterbaits, which I like. They've got the high-end jackhammers. They've got the original first chatterbaits. They got the little micro one. Uh, they got basically every type of, of chatterbait that you could want. Z-Man's got all kind of different ones. And then over here on the wall, it looks like there's, there's nothing but creatures here. He's starting with your, your Zoom lizards, your TRD hogs, uh, chigger, chigger craws. You got all the rage stuff, the, all, the brush hogs. Z cross. I mean, you get your tide Kai Tech um, crazy flappers. You got all kind of you know, beavers. You got your Paca stuff. You got your chunks. Get into your chunks right there. Man, you just got you get all those creatures right there. We'll, we'll go down this aisle first. You got your grub section. You can't have any, uh, you know, smallmouth wintertime fishing. You got to have grubs. It's just a, it's just a must. And uh, all kind of you know, the blue tail, blue tail grub. You know, this is what this is the bait that launched Yamamoto Bait Company. If you didn't know, he took and put the hula grub on the front of a double tail grub. This was the first bait that, that Gary Yamamoto ever came out with, and this is what launched his company. And it was going along okay until the Cinco came out, which I saw the Cinco's on another aisle. But uh, it's a neat little deal. You got all kind of different swim baits here, not just here, they got swim baits all the way down this wall. Yeah, you got some flukes in your your minnow type baits there, but then you get into your you get into your uh, your swim baits right in here. 
Uh, you got everything from Z-Man, Yamamoto, Lake Fork, and then you got a big section of Kitek here. Uh, everything from the from the bigger fat impacts all the way down to the little two inch swing impacts. They're so cute. They're little. They're little. Uh, and then you got all kind of different stuff. And again, the uh, shockwave, missile bait shockwaves are over on the other side for the promotion that we're here for today. And then on this side, you've got all kind of different tubes. You've got the River Rock, which is a local guy here. Makes some really cool tubes. Got some nice laminates, some really good colors. Cabin Creek, real popular tube. You Venom, a real popular tube. Uh, Z-Man's got a good tube, floats up obviously. And then Right Bite, man, it's, this has been, these companies been around for a long time. Right Bite makes a really good tube. Uh, if you're a tube dragger, I'm not a tube dragger, but I like I like the uh, the right bite. That's real popular, been around forever. You don't see that in a lot of stores, but they got a good selection of the right bite, right bite tubes. We'll go back around the new new section here, and then you got your wall of Senkos, and of course you got a really good selection of Yamamoto Senkos, and again less than less than less than eight dollars, which uh, is, is better price than most places I've ever been to. And of course, you got your nice selection of 48s for a missile. And then, uh, you know, River Rock's got some little small ones. I know the guys around here, they drop shot that thing wacky rig. That's what I heard. Word on the street. Word on the street. So, uh, moving down here, frogs, you got everything from your your uh, your sprinkler. I don't know why they just didn't call it sprinkler. I think you should put an L in it. Sprinkler frog, that's what I'm going to call it from now on. Some river to sea. Of course, uh, you got your, your toads and everything for that right through there. On this side, topwater section. This is where the fun begins. Quite a selection of whopper floppers. Looks like they've gotten pretty uh, pretty hammered on these. Uh, and I imagine they'll stock back up in the, when the water starts to warm up. We're here in the winter time. Uh, and then you got a few, few Z-Men things over there and some swim baits. You got the rats. These are uh, under the radar. If you don't know about that rat from Spro, I mean... I can't, I can't tell you everything, but I did tell you that. And then, uh, and then we've got a few few different things here. You've got uh, the spy baits and a, and a bunch of different jerk baits here. Smith wicks, you got the Lucky Crafts, all kind of different uh, different ones. Red fins, old school red fins. And you got your, uh, your Ned Rig section over here. Uh, River Rock, like I said, they make some really cool colors. So you can kind of get some different colors you might not be able to get anywhere else with, with that bait. Uh, and then you got your Z, you know, good selection of Z-Man TRDs right there. You come around the corner. This is probably the best crankbait selection in the entire store, to be honest with you. Spray Little John's, of course, a little partial of that, might be a little biased, but they have uh, all kind of lipless crankbaits here. And I like the selection, so you got some good, newer Yozuri's, you got some Livingston stuff, which a lot of guys are throwing now, and you got a good selection of, of Red Ash Ed, so Whatever you want on the lipless side, you there. You got some wiggle warts, and then you know, bombers, strike king. Good selection of bandit crankbaits. You can't shallow crank without a bandit crankbait. That's what they say. I don't know who they are, but that's what they say. And you got Rapala selection, cotton cordell. That's old school, man. Uh, I promise you, you take that to a pond and catch one. Baby minus one, great on the Potomac River. Good in a pond as well. Got some uh, some Norman baits and. You, a tackle shop would not be complete without some Zara spooks. They have the juniors and the full size and the old school two hookers, which I still like as well. Uh, and then you got some good poppers. Over here is your customization corner. All your different dyes for, from Spike It. And then you got a bunch of different scents up here, your smelly jellies and your gulp. Don't need too much else. And you got a lot of other little cool accessories right there. All right, now, and they do have a selection of robo worms over here. So if you if you look at the robo worms and you get some, it'll only last you about two years and they might fade on you and have to come back to Jake's and get some more. Uh, you got trick shots, that's been popular. Um, the bomb shots, the missile baits bomb shots are over in our promotional section. Uh, those have been flying out of here, word on the street. So uh, trick worms, no tackle shop would be complete again without trick worms. You got the Nico Flick, which is cool. It's the Jackal, uh, their newer version. Uh, that's that's neat. I haven't seen that in very many shops, so they're staying on top of it here. And then you got your old school ribbon tail section, culprits, and your zooms. Good one as well. All your accessories, put all, all your boxes to put all your new baits in. Got your culling systems if you're into the tournaments. 
all kind of marine accessories, including oil, uh, things to, to get your boat straight. Got your scales to when you catch that seven pounder on a missile baits bomb shot, you know exactly what that thing weighs. Filet knives for the crappie and the trouts over there. Don't be eating any bass now. It's up to you, but I just don't recommend it. Let's just say they taste horrible. Okay, and then over here, it's empty right now, but during the warm weather season, they have all kind of minnows and things right there for your live bait fishermen. You swing into Jake's, right? like I said, right off the interstate, pick up that stuff. Uh, your minnow buckets. And this is, this is cool, I love this. I stared at this uh, the other day when I was in here for about 30 minutes. Uh, it shows you all the different kinds of crawfish and different colors. So like you've got these bright blue ones, got this orange one, and these are all of just Virginia. Virginia's got all these different types of crayfish in it. So you wanna know why there's orange baits and blue baits and brown baits and green baits. Come look at all these, all these crawfish just in Virginia and you'll see why. But as you go back through here, you got uh, different accessories to, to tie your own flies with. Got some magnets and stickers to show everybody that you do fish. Got the floats for, uh, for doing live bait fishing for those uh, minnows and over there. Then you got the jigs, all kind of different jigs. And again, Rogers has got all kind of handmade stuff with a little sickle hook right there. That's really cool. You know, you got your owner phantom tube hook, all kind of different swim bait hooks. I mean, they've got the right stuff that fit all the baits in here. They'll just tell you, but I'll tell you, I'll show you one thing real quick back in here. One thing they've been doing here at Jake's recently, they've been working on boats. So if you have some issues with your boats, bring it over here to Jake's. This business has been growing for them and, and they're working on some trim on this boat right here, but really cool. You just bring your boat, boat in here, drop it off and then pick up a bunch of tackle while you're here, all in one place. And then you got, you got your, uh, you know, all your different lines, everything from the FC Sniper Sun Line, which is what I use. So you got Seaguar, you know, Berkeley, Gamma, Power Pro, all the different stuff you might need there. Look at that dude. That's a wild man. I would not get in the boat with that guy. I wouldn't, unless you were that guy. And then you got more different jig heads. You got a bunch of different shaky heads here. You know, Dave's, uh, they got the ultra head from owner, all kind of, whatever you want. They've got that stuff right in here. This is one, this is the flick shake deal right here for me. I've got, I keep these in the boat at all times. And you got all kind of net heads, including the handmade net heads with the little sickle hook in it from, from that Rogers jigs. Those things will be, uh, be red hot in the springtime, I'm sure. Uh, you got, and then you got all the, the regular hooks that you need. A lot of good Gamogatsu selection. Uh, you got some other BMC and owners as well. We'll go to the other side, more hooks. And more of your treble hooks over here. Uh, you got your little glide jig. That's an interesting little bait from ZMC. That BMC, that thing will catch them uh, under certain circumstances. And and then you got, you know, your drop shot hooks, a lot of bait type hooks. You got all your terminal tackle over here, your, your rod guides. All your different blades to customize your spinner baits with, and then you know, two split rings, tubes. I mean, they got everything that you really need, and they got all your weights over here. You got all your tungsten type weights for your serious guys, your Jethro and Eco Pro, and then you got your your lead lead weights, drop shot weights, some Nico weights, glass beads for your Carolina riggers. It's me, my Carolina rigger. I admit it. Some rods over here. You got uh, you got all the G Loomis stuff. Got a bunch of G, new G Loomis. Everything G Loomis to ugly sticks right there, side by side. Denali, good selection of Denali rods as well. Got some Shimano, um, Shimano things as well. We'll take a quick look over here at the real counter. And then you got, got a good selection of Lou's and Shimano, and I'm sure whatever you want, you can get it here. And this is cool. Lobina lures the Rico man. This the this is the big they got the big Rico and the little Rico and the Rico Suave. Very cool. Don't see this in a whole lot of tackle shops, but if you like poppers and you understand how good this bait is, they've got a nice nice selection of those. And more more spinning reels over here. But again, uh, whatever you, whatever you're looking for, they can they can help you. Cool cool selection of of apparel over here. All kind of different Jake's apparel, hats, sweatshirts. Got a 
few of those in my collection, to be honest with you. And then over here, really cool. If you want to see what a bait does in the water, you can put it over here. They've got a test tank. And you know, today we're doing a promotion with, with missile. Uh, and they've got all kind of different different things to choose from. Like if you look right here, we got the bomb shot. You want to see what the bomb shot looks like in the water. You just drop it in the test tank right here. And you can see how that tail floats up. And you can just sit there and shake it and shake it and shake it until they eat it. So that's a really neat deal. And again, over here, uh, they've got everything from from missile all in one place for, for today's promotion. Micro jigs featured in the middle. And then, and then all the different soft plastics. But if you come over here, I'll show you one last quick thing. Very cool. They do real repair. And I know for me, that has been an issue in the past to find somebody that's good at fixing your reels. They can do that right here at Jake's. They've got this section over here where they can they can get you all dialed in for your for your uh, for your reel. Plus, they do some custom fly tying for you. I have no clue about flying ties other than I like some bushiness on the end of my gamakatsu treble hooks. That's about all the extent I know. But they can do all that here because there's a lot of trout streams and lakes in this area. So right here in Winchester, Virginia, right off of Interstate 81. So if you're coming down or coming up Interstate 81, stop in here, see what you got and pick up what you don't have.